Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore China launching Chenga 6 moon sample mission. China successfully launched its historic mission to collect rocks and soil from the far side of the moon, becoming the first country to make such an ambitious attempt. The Long March 5, China's largest rocket, successfully launched carrying the Chenga 6 probe, which weighs more than 8 metric tons, from the Wenchang Space Launch Center on the southern island of Hainan, announced the China National Space Administration. The launch was attended by scientists, diplomats, and space agency officials from France, Italy, Pakistan, and the European Space Agency, all of which have moon-studying payloads aboard the rocket. It is a bit of a mystery to us how China has been able to develop such an ambitious and successful program in such a short time, said Pierre-Yves Meslin, a French researcher working on one of the scientific objectives of the Chenga 6 mission, as quoted by Reuters. Notably, no United States-based organizations applied to get a payload spot, said Ge Ping, deputy director of the CNSA's Lunar Exploration and Space Program. This is because Beijing is banned by American law from any collaboration with the U.S. space agency NASA. Chang'e 6 is tasked with landing in the South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon, which faces away from Earth, to retrieve samples. The mission's goal is to collect two kilograms of soil and rocks from the landing site and bring them back to Earth for detailed analysis. The far side of the moon has a mystique, perhaps, because we literally can't see it, we have never seen it apart from with robotic probes or the very few number of humans that have been around the other side, said Neil Melville Kenny, a technical officer at ESA working with Chinese researchers on one of the Chenga 6 payloads, as quoted by Reuters. The Chinese spacecraft will rely on the relay satellite that has been recently deployed and in its 53-day mission is orbiting the moon. Once the probe separates from the rocket, it will take around four to five days to reach the moon and is expected to land on the far side of the lunar surface in June. The probe, named after the Chinese moon goddess, will then spend around two days digging up the samples before it makes its journey back to Earth, where it is expected to land in Inner Mongolia. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.